Someday, someone will come along who will tear down those walls you've built around your heart. One day, somebody's gonna love you heart and soul. Emotions are nothing but a distraction. You have feelings whether you like them or not, Alec. I am immortal. I can party and have fun to my heart's content without the anchors of love around my feet. The point is we're shadow hunters. Hey, emotions get in the way. And if you get knocked off the path, you have to focus and find your way back. I'm Magnus. I don't think we've been formally introduced. Who are you? Alec. Magnus is, um, quite magical. I need Alexander. Magnus, why, why does Magnus need me? Why did you ask for me? I wanted to see you again. Why? Why'd you come? There's nothing to be ashamed of, Alec. You can't keep bottling things up, Alec. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. For almost a century, I've closed myself off to feeling anything for anyone. You've unlocked something in me. I trust you. I don't know why, but I do. I need your strength. Take what you need. You're more than just a pretty face, aren't you? Pretty boy, get your team ready. You shared your strength with me to help your friend. It's rare to find a shadow hunter with such a Open heart. You okay? Yeah. Thought I'd see how you were doing. If anything were to happen... Magnus. To... I'm good. Trust makes you do strange things. Must be something in the air. I've done everything for my parents. For the Clave. I'm getting married. You don't have to marry her. Yes, I do, Magnus. So I I've done everything that they've asked. <sighs> Goodbye, Alexander. Maybe you should start living for yourself. I'm a shadow hunter. This is about family and tradition, honor. Where's the honor in living a lie? It's like my whole life has been a lie. You have this plan for your life. What about love? Then somebody comes along and pushes you off that path. Even shadow hunters fall in love, Alec. I know you feel what I feel, Alec. You lose your breath every time they enter a room. I can't breathe. Your heart beats faster when they walk by. And your skin tingles when they stand close enough to feel their breath. Even if I did feel something for you, I'm going to give up my life for you. When that love comes back to you, you must do everything in your power to fight for it. Do what's in your heart. I have to listen to my heart. You deserve to be happy. You never cease to amaze me, Alec. You certainly know how to make a statement. What have you done, Alec? There's so much that you don't know about him. Well, then I plan to get to know him. And all for a downworlder. And if you have a problem with that, then I suggest you deal with it. You wanna... Would you like to go out for a drink sometime? Oh, I'll get a drink sometime? That sounds fun. Um, I would love that. Great. I know that with... Everything that's been going on. Alexander, you've been to hell and back, and you haven't stopped for a second. Hey. I'm sorry for how I reacted before. Everybody just back off! I know what you're going through, Alexander. No, I I don't think you do. I can't help you with this. Why not? The last time you used the wound to track Jason it almost killed you. Why can't you just do this one thing? After everything I've done for you? I didn't mean to take it out on you. But well, then what do you want from me? At the moment? Nothing. I'm sorry. You're forgiven. We're always going to face challenges. So when things get crazy, don't push me away. It appears that when Alec hauled out to him, part of his soul never returned. Now he's stuck, lost somewhere himself and his paradigm. It's okay, Alec. You hear me? We're gonna get you out of here and bring you back. Has he been in there with Alec the whole time? I won't leave. It's the only reason Alec still has a chance. Please come back. I'm all out of answers. I've tried everything. Jace may have been the one who pulled me out. But I did feel you there, and it did.
did make a difference, so. Thank you. Thank you for not dying on me. I'm not okay. I'm fine. No, you're not. Because you're not okay. You're hurting. Badly. You hope the pain here will overpower the pain there. I let a demon in, Magnus. That wasn't your fault. I don't know what to say to Clary. I can't face her. But you will. Because that's what you do, Alexander. Take it a moment for yourself. I guess we're in the middle of a war. There will always be a war. If you fail to grant time for the things you care about, you'll forget why you're even fighting at all. We, we haven't had a chance to... Go on that first date we never had? Right, yes. We still haven't gone on our first date yet. What do you have in mind? Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You wanna know why I haven't been in a relationship? Have you ever been in a relationship? Because of this. Because I didn't want to feel like there was something wrong with me because I, I grew up in the Institute. Nothing's wrong with you. I guess... I think... Maybe we're too... Different? Yeah. 17,000? It was all in the past. Ancient history. Right now, I'm here. With you. We're from a totally different world. Different centuries. I am who I am. And you are who you are. And all the magic in the world can't change that, so... I should go. Let's just try to make the best of it. Look, I don't care how many people you've been with. I don't care how many people you haven't been with. Relationships, they all take effort. I'm all for effort. I always knew I couldn't have what I wanted. I guess that's why I haven't opened my heart up for almost a hundred years. Until you came along. Then I met you. You continue to surprise me. Good ways, I hope. What you got there? A gift. Got your son. Me? Yes, you. Can't remember the last time someone bought me one. It's supposed to bring you luck and protection. Is it from someone special? Thank you, Alexander. It's about Magnus. I, I just thought, you know, I thought we could take the next step. I like you care about Magnus. He cares about you. It's okay. If it's what you want, if it makes you happy, then go for it. Do I want to? Of course I do. You're not the only one that feels vulnerable. I may be experienced, but it's rare that I've ever felt this way about someone, and... What are you afraid of? I worry that once we... That if we rush into this, that I may lose you. The key to having no fear is having nothing to lose. Magnus, you have nothing to worry about. This, us, it's not going away. Are you really afraid I was going to go? You sure about this? Why wouldn't I be? Alexander, I know things may seem bleak, but nothing was as devastating as seeing you standing on that ledge. Magnus, you don't have to explain yourself. I've been through it myself. Just promise you'll tell me if things ever get that bad. Where's Magnus? How many downworlders do you think live in New York? I don't know. But they're not all your responsibility. You are. He wasn't here, was he? I don't care what happens to me, Clary. Alex's gonna be okay. <laughs> I guess on every mission I've ever been on, I've never felt that type of fear. Ever. Not knowing if you were alive or dead, I, I was terrified. So was I. I guess I, I love you. I love you too. You must be reading my mind. I was just about to call you. There's a greater demon on the loose, and we need your help. What's going on? Nothing. Why? Magnus, what's wrong? 
Talk to me. That's enough! Oh, Alexander, they cut your hair. You have to listen to me. No, you listen to me. This sick game of yours is over. It's not a game. It's me, Alexander. The day of Valentine's massacre, you told me that you loved me. So if you love me, please, please, you have to believe me. I guess I am so sorry for everything you had to go through. Is everything okay? This is like the fourth morning in a row that I've woken up to an empty bed. Is there something bothering you? Are you sure you're okay? Positive. I need to tell me how to fix this. I guess I need your hair. It's Clave orders. Just tell me what to do, please. So again, you're just blindly carrying out orders. What happened to following your gut? Mr. Lightwood, perhaps your personal relationships are clouding your objectivity. My personal relationships have nothing to do with it. Thank you. Get out. What? You know what? Maybe they have everything to do with it because it was a warlock who told me to always follow my gut. I'm in love with Alec. Minus are all right. Alec's lucky to have you. You never have to prove yourself to me. I love you. I love you too. Magnus isn't exactly in a great place right now. He hasn't been sleeping. Magnus? I love you. Now, I know something's wrong. Whatever it is, I'm here for you. He says nothing's wrong, but I can tell he's not all right. But I'm fine. No, you're not. If Magnus is hurting, don't let him push you away. Do you remember when you said, when things get crazy, don't push me away? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to leave until you talk to me. That agony room. When I was tortured in Valentine's body. It made me relive my worst memory. I burned him, Alexander. I murdered my stepfather. He blamed me for her suicide. He said that she hated herself for giving birth to a monster. Mama! No! I was nine years old when my mother realized what my cat eyes meant. I guess. What is it? She couldn't live with the fact that she bore the son of a demon. So she took her life. Sometimes, I lose control. I never wanted you to see this... terrible, ugly side of me. I guess. There is nothing ugly about you. They're beautiful. You're beautiful. I mean, you, Alec Lightwood, are now the head of the New York Institute. I have tremendous respect for the new head of the Institute. I'll be by your side the whole time. But Luke and I assured them that now that you are the head of this Institute and implementing a policy of complete transparency, change was on the way. I have to tell Alexander. If we... If Alec is head of the Institute, he might already know. No. I can explain. You knew about the sword. I just found out. I swear. From the day I met you, the one thing I knew I can count on from you was honesty. Was he ever going to tell me? I don't know. He didn't tell I trusted him, Lucian. More than anyone. Absolute, total honesty. You're just like the clay. That's not fair. Magnus! You told Magnus about the soul sword, didn't you? Wow. After the lies your boyfriend told you, surely you're on my side? I know I have no right to ask for favors, but I need you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry. I should have told you about the soul sword. I made a mistake. But you and me, we always seem to find our way back to each other. Magnus, I love you. I love you too. Don't let your crush get in the way of protecting your people. But as a leader, there are difficult decisions I have to make to ensure the survival of my people. The only thing holding me back from doing that is you. I can't have both. Yes, you can. We can. We, Magnus. We can figure this out. Magnus, is this true? You once asked me what I was afraid of. It's this. I understand why you might doubt my intentions after what happened with the Soul Sword. And for that, I am sorry. 
I'll seal the rift. But not because of you or the Shadow Hunters. Because it'll save lives. You gonna be okay? Alexander, you okay? Magnus. Magnus. You can't get rid of me that easily. Hey, can we talk? Yeah. Magnus, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. No, I should have told you about the soul sword. It's in the past. Magnus, ever since our fights, I... I can't, I can't think straight. Well, I can't do anything without thinking of you. I guess I... I don't think I can live without you. I thought I had to choose between you and the Tao world, but I don't. A wise man once told me, relationships take effort. Well, that was an understatement. <laughs> It's not an understatement. I've been so worried about him. When he spoke last night, he was beside himself. But since I've been dismissed, I'm free to see whomever I want. Dismissed? What, what happened? Being the High Warlock meant everything to him. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm not upset. I'm actually elated. That's not what he told me. I guess I just didn't want you to see me like that. You never have to pretend how you feel, especially not with me. I was offered a position on the council. Congratulations, Alexander. Have you accepted the position on the council? What would mean moving to Idris? Isn't that what you've always dreamed of? Always dreamed of meeting someone like you. I don't want you to move to Idris. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because this is your life, Alexander. All I care about is how you feel. I didn't want to go to Alicante without you. And when I brought it up, you acted like you wanted me to go. Whether you're in Idris or in New York, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for you. Because I'm a better actor than I thought. I'm not going anywhere. You think I don't recognize Asmodeus' handiwork when I see it? What's going on? Why would Lorenzo accuse you of working with a greater demon? Especially one like Asmodeus. Asmodeus is my father. Look, I'm sorry I never told you. I was ashamed. Well, we have to stop him. First, we need to track him down. And my father... His magic is unique. But judging by the energy signature, it's not my father. You're gonna use the angelic core. Are you serious? This is our only chance to stop the corruption. Why not just quarantine the warlocks outside the city? Because kicking innocent people out of their homes isn't going to solve anything. I could try it on my own. It'd be far more difficult, but at least you'll be safe. As long as you're here, I'm not going anywhere. I did it. You did it? Yeah. Maybe I got a little help. Alexander, about my father, I hope you don't think less of me. I don't care who your dad is. I care who you are. You're the furthest thing from a greater demon. Which means it's just me tonight. Just us. Clearly, this is important to you. Ergo, it's important to me. Thank you, again. Tonight couldn't have been nicer. You're welcome anytime. I may have had my prejudices in the past, but seeing you stand by Alec, it's what every mother wants for her children. Thank you for loving my boy. You help me all the time. Make it through this. Thank you. I mean, here you are in this committed relationship with a warlock. No less. It's loving. It's trusting. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. Magnus, I did something I'm not proud of. You're referring to going through that box? I had no right, and I'm sorry. You were weird before when I asked about moving in. I mean, I spend almost every night here. What if I... Moved in. It's a wonderful idea. For the future. Then what is all that? Each of those belonged to someone I loved and outlived. You know my history. I've always 
been honest with you about that. Well, now that I've seen some of that history with my own eyes, I can't help but think, if I'm lucky, maybe one of my arrowheads ends up in that box. Look, I don't even want to think about you being gone. I mean, one day I will be. You don't do well losing those you love. Yeah, but what she said about you being immortal, she's right. You watch the people you care about age and die. Alexander. And you'll just move on. I'm immortal! It's not as if I have a choice. I can't change what I am, and neither can you. Can we just stay in the here and now? Even I can't see the future. I want to cherish this moment with the one I love. I just, I just got so swept up that I, that I never stopped to think about the future. We fell in love. There's nothing else to think about. I can't stomach the idea that one day I'm going to be old and feeble and becoming this burden to you. Look, there's no universe where you would ever be a burden. You say that now. But what you and Magnus have is, is real. If anyone can make it work, it's you two. But there is nothing you two can't work out. Alec and I had a fight. We both said some things we didn't actually mean. I'm not a child, Magnus. Then stop acting like one. Relationships. They can be exasperating, can't they? Magnus and I had our first date here. I asked him if he thought we were too different to be together. We never really got around to answering that question. Magnus! Hey! And now, now it's come around to bite me in the ass. About our fight, I said things I shouldn't have. As did I. It's important that we save your pair, but I. If we want to bring Jace back, we have to get through to him using the strongest connection possible. Which is me. If Jace dies, part of Alec dies too. If he dies, a part of me dies too. But if I help you, and I lose you... I know. You let your heart dictate directions, and that will be your downfall. I'm not giving you an ounce of power, Magnus. I don't care if it means you have to watch the man you love wither and die. Then we'll do this. But you're not going in alone. Alexander, if you can hear me... Hurry! We need my father's help. You're gonna make it back. You hear me? Why wouldn't I? Look what I have waiting for me. I love you, Alexander. I love you too. Why reopen this wound? I came here to ask you for your assistance. Alex! Magnus, please, you gotta fix him. I can't. My magic. It's gone. I traded it to break this hole in you. Can you make a night like, like the last time? Uh, I can't right now, Madsy. You okay? Yeah. I suppose this new powerless reality is gonna take some time to get used to. I don't know, people do this every day. It's taking me an eternity to make myself halfway presentable. Well, I don't know why you think you need it. You're beautiful the way you are. But I'm always here for you, you know that, right? Now I'm proud of you. Oh, for what? For being so powerless that I was able not only to get kidnapped, but injured as well? You're powerful enough to hold your ground and keep your memories of Mazzy's true location from Iris. That's not power. Yes, it is, Magnus. I just... I still feel so humiliated. Having you and Isabel rescue me and... You've been taking care of others your whole life. Sometimes it's okay to let others take care of you. I tried to stop her. You got her. It's okay. Your power doesn't just come from your magic. It comes from your inner strength. That you are overflowing with. It's time I learn how to fight without my magic. Look alive. <laughs> well, I know a thing or two about fighting. So what do you say I help you out? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Don't flirt with me. So I can't kiss my boyfriend. Oh, you know how we get. I told you not to flirt with me. I hope you're not offended if I continue my training elsewhere. 
It's more than a little distracting wanting to kiss my instructor every five minutes. <laughs> oh, you're so cute when you're serious. Magnus, can we just slow down for a second? Are you sure nothing's wrong? I'm used to feeling like I had all the time in the world to do whatever I wanted. But now I have 40, what, 50 years left? This whole mortality thing is going to take some getting used to. There is a certain charm to doing things the mundane way. I just feel that my time is a little more precious. It's your day off, and I want to make the most of it. Can't blame me for wanting to make each moment count. Of course not. It's actually really sweet. I want to make the most of every moment. The thing about moments is that you'll miss them if you're always running after the next one. When I'm 90, I'm not going to remember the trendy gallery or, or the amazing Greek food we had if we don't slow down and, and savor moments like these. And I'm staring into the eyes of the man that I love. Of course, everything I need is right here in front of me. Magnus, how did you get your magic back? Uh, I got some help from Lorenzo. Lorenzo, why would he help you? I thought you'd be happy for me. I am. When Lorenzo gave me my magic back, he did so at a price. He asked you for your apartment. Room. I've had many, many happy memories in this apartment. At the end of the day, it's just a thing. Alexander, I appreciate the hospitality, but doesn't the Clave have rules against downworlders living here? You're not living at the Institute. You're just visiting for an extended period of time. And what would your fellow Shadowhunters think of a warlock wandering the halls? They'd be fine with it. Hey, how was your first day? You all set up? <sighs> your handsome friend took care of everything. Underhill? You think he's handsome? You're jealous. I don't get jealous. You're jealous. You're actually jealous. I have never gotten jealous. This is not... <sighs> this is about you living at the Institute. Believe me, I, I want to live with you, but you were right. How can I expect everyone else to follow the rules if I don't follow them myself? So when you find a place, uh, I was hoping that we could both move in together. Only if I get my own walk-in closet. You mean that? Of course. I have you, and I have my magic. Oh, truly, that's enough. Magnus. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. Magnus's body is rejecting Lorenzo's magic. Each time Magnus performs a spell, it puts a tremendous strain on his body. But if he uses magic again, even for something small, he might not survive. But this is my fault. I was selfish. When you first lost your powers and you said you were okay with it, I... I didn't think twice. I guess I was just so happy that maybe we could... go hold together. I didn't realize deep down how much you were suffering. Without magic, I feel like a stranger. It's like suddenly I don't matter. Magnus, of course you matter. But without magic, I can't feel it. You've never been in love, have you? Magnus, I love you. For me, it's only one. More than anyone in the world. Magnus. He is my world. And if he dies, I know how important magic is to you. But is it really worth dying for? I am nothing without my magic. You fell in love with Magnus Bane, the High Warlock of Brooklyn. Can you honestly say that you don't feel differently about me? Can you honestly say you like this? Yes! Y your powers were incredible. But that's not why I fell in love with you. I, I fell in love with you because you're wise and, and you're you're generous. And you're brave and you're you're incredible. I just when you walk into a room, there's a spark in you, magic or not, that lights up everything and everyone around you. I won't lose you. I can't. I have everything I need right here. Magnus, you stopped breathing. Your heart stopped. I thought you were gone. When it happened, it made me realize how much he means to me. That I can't live without him. So I was thinking we could have dinner tonight on the balcony. May I ask what the occasion is? I need the family ring. 
Why I can't do something nice with my boyfriend? Oh. I'm gonna ask Magnus to marry me. I'm uh, proposing to Magnus tonight. I am one lucky man. Not as lucky as I am. I just want everything to be perfect. Have you been drinking? Why? Are you judging me? No, I'm just concerned. I've never seen you like this. Oh, no, neither have I. <laughs> but hey, I'm a mundane now, right? Just like you've always wanted. I have to make Magnus the happiest man in the world. All I've ever wanted is for you to be happy. Well, I'm not. I had a drunken emotional breakdown in front of Alec last night. It's okay. It's just you're going through a hard time. Please, Alexander. Make me pretend this is just a phase. I feel so hopeless sometimes. And I don't want to burden him. Stop. Stop. Listen. I just, I, I love you. Can you just, I just want to help. I know you do. But it's you can't. can't. Listen. Yeah, no, like, stop. Let me go, please. It's not a burden. In times of crisis, the people we love want to help. Listen to this. Stop. Dad. Let me be here with you. Please. I don't know what I'd do without your son. You said some things. That was the bourbon talking. It's about what you said. Without your magic, you could never be happy. What I'm feeling now, it may never pass for as long as I live. Look, I was being dramatic. No, you were being honest. He told me that he'll never be happy again without his magic. So please, if you ever cared about Magnus, return what you stole. I need a break from us. Under one condition, end your relationship. You're not considering it, are you? But your solution to break up, how, how is that going to fix anything? There is no fixing this. Magnus lost his magic in the first place because of me. On the source of all his suffering, you make him vulnerable, weak. With you, he'll never reach his full potential. Magnus sacrificed everything so I could feel whole. And I have the chance to do the same for him. You said there's nothing I can do to make it better. It's not your job to make it better. Well, what am I supposed to do? Stand by and watch you suffer for the rest of our lives? Okay, okay, this, this isn't you. He wouldn't want this. He loves you so much. We love each other. Breaking up is gonna hurt like hell. No, 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 please. I've lost everything. That's the kind of hurt he can recover from. I can't lose you too, Alec. Okay. But what about you? Stay with me. Okay. Can you recover? I'm not the first person he's loved, and I won't be the last. You've lost great loves before. Alec is different. But you are different, and it's a good thing. Days ago, I didn't know the spark inside of you, the one I fell in love with. I was out for good. Losing him. It's breaking me. Painful as those memories may be, they're a part of who we are. You're gonna be a hell of a dad. Besides, when it comes to having a family, you wouldn't be doing it alone. Magnus and I broke up. Like, I don't know, I, I know it's silly. I wanted us to have a walk too. Sometimes, life just doesn't go the way you want it to. This shadow hunter. The heartache you're feeling, fight through it. I broke up with Magnus. Magnus, when exactly did your magic return? This is the only way he's ever going to become whole again. You're whole again. I should never have asked for this in the first place. Not three days ago, he came to my shop asking me for this. Alec was going to ask me to marry him. How mundane. Do you really think I wouldn't find out? You can't be here. I can't be anywhere else. No, you don't understand. We can't be together. Those mornings can't come between us again. I know about the deal. And why you did what you did. Alexander Gideon Lightwood. Will you marry me? You'll marry me too. I guess not. We can 
can we fight them off for so long? The demons will keep coming back unless we seal the rift. It's the only way to keep you all safe. Magnus, you can't. I love you. I love you too, Alexander. It's only you know. You always come back. It's okay to take some time to mourn. Magnus is not dead. He is an Edom. We both know that he can't ever come back home. I'm going to find a way. And I'm going to get him back. Magnus! I, I thought I'd never see you again. I told you. It's only eat them. Then what? I stay here. With you. I'm never leaving you again. Good morning. Good morning it is. A good morning indeed. <laughs> What's this? You are cordially invited to the wedding of Alexander Gideon Lightwood and Magnus Bain. Tonight. Why wait even a day longer? After everything we've been through, who knows what crisis will befall us tomorrow? All these hundreds of years, I can't believe you've never been married. I've never met anyone like you. Magnus Bain. Alexander Gideon Lightwood. The love I have for you is a love that knows no bounds. In times of joy as well as sadness. In sickness and in health. I will love you as my equal. And protect you above all else. I will share with you my truest feelings. And when you speak, I will listen. I will catch you when you fall. And when you soar, I will help you reach your greatest heights. I am and will always be your loving husband. husband. 